Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit of an update to let you know what's going on and some shout outs for some really cool contests as well as some tip about as well as some tips and tricks for um buying from Expo. Sorry, this is gonna be kind of like a rushed video. Um my phone is almost out of um battery and I really need to rush it because I'm gonna eat dinner soon. Yeah. Um okay, so um George recently hit 70 grams. I can't talk. 70 grams, which is great. Um, so you guys know I'm getting a new gecko, so at least one more, hopefully two. Um, so do you guys know what a good pairing with the Trump albino would be? As far as I know, he is just a Trump albino, but I got him from Petco, so he might have some heads to him. Um, also, do they sell incubators at um, expos? I know it varies for each expo, of course, but um, have you guys ever seen incubators for sale at expos? Um, so yeah, I have some more in mind for... Um, um, a new gecko. Um, so a blizzard, a super snow, max snow, or a super high potangerine carrot tail baldy. Um, so I don't know. Um, you guys let me know what you think. So that's George. Let me put this down. Okay, so here's Sunny. My camera is making her look pretty dull. Like she's gonna go into shed, but. She's looking really bright, actually. Um, so Sunny has been eating terrific. Um, she has this new eating routine. Um, she eats one really large superworm a day. She's gained 10 grams in a week, um, and I've been doing this for a week. So that's terrific. It's working out perfect. Um, so at this rate, I think I'm going to breed her soon because she is at 46 grams, which is amazing. Um, when she gets about 55, so a few more weeks, um, I will breed her to George, hopefully. I won't leave her in with him, um, until I get a group of females. Um, but yeah, and I believe she's ovulating. So let me show you guys. She was ovulating. She's been ovulating for a while, actually. There's that pink dot right there. Um, it's a little hard to see in this camera. But yeah, um... Okay, shoutouts. Um, so Optic Gecko 21 has a really cool contest going on. Sorry the shoutout is so late. Um, I haven't had time, but yeah, he has a really cool contest. Also, Visor Lord 01. He has some really cool prizes for his thing. Um, a lot of expensive um, reptile supplies. Um, so yeah, go check out his contest. Um, okay, so some tips and tricks for buying from Expos. I don't have the most experience, um, but I have bought Sunny and... Um, I have done re my research. So what I do now, um, buying on the last day is a good option um, sometimes because the issue is, is like sometimes you don't have as wide as a variety, but um, vendors, of course, are trying to sell as much as they can. They are trying to make as much profit as they can. Um, they come all this way. They pay for these tables um, to sell. And so they need to make profit. And so on the last day, in the last few hours of the expo, they have a full table. That is never good. Um, so they will do whatever they can to sell as much as they can. Um, so that is the perfect time for someone to jump in and negotiate. Um, you pretty much get the price you want. Um, not necessarily, like, you know, $10 for a uh, Tangelo leopard gecko or something like that. But, you know, a reasonable price for the gecko. Um, so that's great. Also, another thing is... If you're new to, say, um, crested geckos and you want to get a Dalmatian, um, research, research, research. Um, go check how much it costs, how much it varies for um, a Dalmatian crested gecko. Um, that is very important. Some breeders, not a lot, would try to rip you off. Um, you want to ensure that you get the best price possible. Um, also, if you're buying from a breeder that is not very known, make sure you do your research. Um, say if they have a website or... Um, you know, some people have bought from them. Um, go see if they are happy with their results. Um, also, socialize with the vendors. Be friendly. Talk to them. Um, last thing is, if you don't know what kind, say you want a leopard gecko, but you don't know what morph, um, you just be all like, oh, you know, and you have a price range. Say I want a gecko for $50. You tell the vendor and they'll lay some geckos out for you. You know, you pick and choose so you don't fall in love with the gecko that is way too overpriced. Um, so yeah, those are my tips and tricks for buying from Expos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was rushed and I'm talking so fast. And, um, yeah, thanks. Bye.